Well, I'm just here to show you how to set up a new server at speedykvm.com, which has some fantastic virtual private servers available. So I'm going to log into the control panel at manage.speedykvm.com. Then I'm going to pick the new server, click manage. And then I'm going to go to the part of the window that says settings. I'm going to change the boot order to be first CD-ROM, then hard disk. Now I'm going to, now we're going to mount a CD-ROM. I'm going to choose free. BSD 11 AMD 64. Click mount. Reboot is required. Perfect, excellent. See you on the hard disk. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot it. Click yes. Then let's go over here and let's watch the server that we're connected to. And it is currently rebooting. Just wait, see what happens. Pretty interesting to watch all these things. Right, well now, notice it's success, virtual server rebooted. So it's now booting from the FreeBSD image, which is going to allow us to install FreeBSD. Excellent. So I'm going to do install. And I'll just do continue with default came up. Just push enter. Choose host name for this machine. I'll just keep the host name the same. D1.com. Base system debugging. Nope, I want the documentation, yes. Kernel debugging, lib32, no. Ports, no. System source tree tests, no. Source, no. Ports, no. Lib32, lib32, no, no, no. Just documentation. Okay. Auto, got a disk set up, that's great. For the entire disk, yes. This will erase the disk. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. MBR is fine. Finish. Commit the changes permanently. Now we're going to set the root password, which I already have generated randomly off screen. So it's going to be retype it. Make sure your caps lock is not on, by the way, when you're typing these.
Hmm, I just realized I've typed it wrong. This is awful. Okay, let me try again. Ah, typed it wrong again. This is horrible. These passwords are very, <laughs> very hard to type. These randomly gen generated alphanumeric passwords. Let's try it again. Finally, Whew. that was tough. Network configuration, yes. Let's definitely do that one. Yes, DHCP, yes. This is perfect. IPv6, yes. It's probably not gonna work, but let's just see what the router can do. Nope. Click OK. Time zone selector. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and have the time zone be in North America. And it always is really hard to find the United States. That's all right though. Let's do central time. So, okay. CST look reasonable. Yes. So now, the time and date. It's Monday the 26th. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Okay. It's Monday the 26th. And let's just go ahead and do set date. Excellent. And the time. That looks fairly accurate. And we're going to do it anyway with NTP, so don't worry about this. So I'm going to do local unbound. And let's just forget about that. SSHD. Yes, let's do that. What about that? NTPD, definitely. Dump dev, no. We don't need to do PowerD if this is running on a shared server environment because it would be useless anyway. So it's okay. Let's not worry about that. That one, that one, that one, that one. The only thing that we really want to do is always good is to clean the temp file system, um, system startup. And Disable send mail service. Okay. Would I like to add users to the installed system now? I would say yes. And I'm going to add a username A, which I use for the www account for the virtual domains and so forth. So full name, nothing. UD, nothing. Login group A, yes, that's perfect. Don't want to invite it into wheel or anything else. It's not going to be a an administrator. Shell, it's fine. Home directory, that's fine. It's fine. Yes. No. I'll say no because I already have my own random password. So enter password. I'll type this in carefully. very carefully again. Now, 
Yes, perfect. No. Okay. So this is great. Everything is great now. So let's just do... Okay. I would normally do maybe yes and do some things like... But I'm going to say no now. This is just a tutorial. So I'm going to do... Now rebooting it this way doesn't actually remove the CD-ROM. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do unmount the CD-ROM. And I'm going to change the boot order to be hard disk then CD-ROM. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... It doesn't matter if we start the system when it's running on the CD anyway because it's just not even there. So I'm going to go ahead and do reboot since that's what it's going to do anyway. So reboot. Because if I click reboot on this blue screen, it's not actually going to change the boot order and it's not actually going to eject the CD-ROM first. So let me do reboot from here. Yes. Now let's watch what happens. It's kind of fun to watch the complete setup and so forth. All right, well, let's just keep going. It says reconnecting. Beautiful. Ether boot. Watch what happened. Very cool. Let's keep watching until the login prompt appears. I'm going to go ahead and log in as root. With the password. Now I'll just take a look at what we've got going on. There's a file system. Here's the top. Excellent. Everything's working great and even NTP is running now. Let's just check the date. And let's just check the time dot gov, which looks pretty much on target. 409.44 p.m. And 47, it's pretty much right on target. So everything looks like it's working very, very well. All right, well, let's just go ahead and, and stop the video.